Hey guys, it's me, Gary, Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey guys, in less than five minutes, we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. What is our topic for today? It is what type of insurance license should I get? Should I get the 214, the 215, the 220, the 440, the 240, blah. It's like, oh my gosh, there's just so many different licenses. What should I do? If I can give you any kind of insight as far as what to choose, it is to do your research. And the reason why I stress that is, is when I first got into insurance, one of the things that I didn't do was my research. And I had somebody tell me, Gary, all you need to get is your 214 license. And I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know any better. And I went through all my courses and it was tough, man. And I studied real hard and I got my license and I was very excited. Well, then a little while later, even a year later, maybe a little bit more than that, somebody says, well, Gary, did you want to maybe help some people with some health insurance. I'm thinking, what is that? Because I only had a 214 license. And if you have a 215 license, it gives you the life insurance and the health portion. Now, the 214 is awesome because it helps you to help people, you know, who are looking to do final expense. People are dying to talk to you. And then if you're also wanting to do annuities where you can take care of people's money for them. And also another thing is that they have different types of, you know, insurances that you can sell. But see, here's the thing. One of the things I wished I would have known was I should have done my research. Because see, there's a license called a 440. If you're not sure if you want to be in insurance or maybe you're interested in getting into insurance, but you want to do more like a customer service job, answer phones, kind of learn the fundamentals and the basics before you go take your test, that would be a pretty good license to get. It's not real complicated. It's called a 440. And I'm going to tell you what, a lot of great people start that way, especially if they have to work. They don't want to work on commission because that just helps. Now, when you work in insurance, remember, guys, you work on commission and you have to help people get insurance because if you don't, you don't get paid. And another license that's very important, you know, again, could be the 240 license where you you sell health insurance. Now, health insurance is really cool. People need it and people are always getting older and older and they age into different types of, you know, health insurances that they need to have. So it's kind of a real positive thing too. But if you would have had a 215 license, you could have sold both the life insurance, annuities, and the health portion. Now here's something else. With the 440, it gives you the opportunity to work with pretty much anybody who's selling insurance. Now, a lot of people want you to have your license. So if you go to work for a company who is looking for, you know, somebody to do customer service, answer phones and things like that, a 440 is suffice. Now, if you're real smart, one of the licenses that a lot of people negate to think about is getting the 220 license. Now, the 220 license is like Mac Daddy, Granddaddy daddy, grandma. It's the best one. And I'm not going to say it's the best one for everybody because if you want to sell life insurance, you don't need to have, you know, a 220. All you need to do is have a what? 214. And I'm not trying to make this complicated because, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And our whole total thing today is what type of insurance license should you get or which one should I get? And you want to know the the differences. Now, the 221, you know, that'll help you with property insurance. Like, say, for instance, insurance on people's homes. They got marine insurance where you can sell insurance on boats. You can also sell the things with people's cars, you know, those different companies that sell you car insurance, you got to have a license to be able to sell that stuff. And it is called a general lines license. That's a 220 license. Now, if you're also, you can still sell health. You can also sell life under that umbrella too, because a 220 license is a little bit, or should I say a lot more harder to get. So you have to jump through a lot more hoops. But if you get this particular license, that means you pretty much covered all your basis. You've had the the background. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you're looking to get a license, they will check your background. So if you got some things in the past that you know you shouldn't have done, be careful because they will probe on you, make sure that you are of good character, and they'll make sure that, you know, you're not out there to take advantage of people. And if you have really bad credit, good luck. You might get a chance, but I'm going to tell you what, you got to get your credit on board. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And I told you I'd tell you some things that a lot of companies and people don't talk about. But the key to success is what insurance license is good for you.
Like I said, the 220 is the best. For some people, all they need is a 214 to sell life insurance and final expense, which, you know, is really good. People, like I said, are dying to talk to you. And then you've got that 440, so it can walk you into an opportunity at least to figure out what you want to sell. So do me a favor. Go out there and sell some insurance. But if you're looking for something specific, do your research. Think about it. Look at not just the right now. Look at the long haul. So sometimes it's better to go ahead and get into insurance at a lower place. But if it was me, if I had to do it again, I probably would have went and got my 220. Not saying that's what you should do. What I'm saying is, is you might want to think about it. So go out there and sell something. And don't forget, get you the insurance license that works best for you. All right.